list. <laughs> OK, well, here's a bit of controversy to kick off the morning. Children could soon be weighed and measured at school in a bid to tackle childhood obesity. Yeah, but the move has been criticised by some experts, warning that weighing kids could lead to humiliation and eating disorders. So here to tell us more is Amelia Burton and Daniel Miller. Firstly, Amelia, let's talk to you. The suggestion has come from, you know, health experts who want to stop childhood obesity because this is becoming an epidemic in this country. Yep, so what are your thoughts on this sort of weighing kids in school? Yeah, right? look, it is a very controversial topic. Um, there are pros and cons to everything, but definitely in Australia at the moment, we are quite slim on the cold, hard facts of obesity in children. So we don't have any real up-to-date data on a national scale. And so what they're proposing to do is put forwards uh, an annual weighing um, uh, procedure throughout all the schools in, in Australia whereby they will then take the data and put it on a population-wide um, study to, so that we can assess mm. the levels and the obesity levels of our children. But just so I could check on this, because a lot of yep. people have an image in their head that it's going to be like army in the 50s, that's yep. all, yeah. all no. the kids are going to be paraded up in front yep. of the school and, and all the kids are going to go, he's so fat, and yep. that's not going to no, happen. No, so it's all done confidentially, right. so the children don't know what the results are. In fact, at this point, they don't even think the parents will know what the results are um, for their individual children. But it's So it's all the data's put in and it's put on a national-wide mm. study so that we can start to assess some of the initiatives that we're putting forward like our healthy eating camp campaigns and that sort of thing to see if they're actually having yeah. an impact mm. and what our um, childhood obesity levels are like. Danielle, do you think it, it might be, in fact, um, a wake-up call for parents to, you know, about the weight of their children? No, I don't think any child doesn't know if their child is overweight. I think that would be sort of hard to believe. But also, we have to weigh up the possible harm versus the possible benefits of a program like this. Mm. As Amelia said, we're not even going to give parents or children individual data back. It's just an information-gathering process, and that doesn't necessarily equate with knowledge. So what we have at the moment is a culture that really does fat-shame kids. And we know that shaming children isn't helpful in terms of changing behaviours long term. And you can only imagine that having a school day where everyone knows they're going to be weighed oh, and assessed is just horrific. And body image is a huge concern with young people in this country. It's just madness. Yeah. Well, couldn't this be something that the parents could do at home and send into the schools or send into but a website? But why do we need to? I mean, weighing a child doesn't necessarily give you any information on the health of that child. Weight doesn't equal health. You can be very slim and very unhealthy, or you can have a large larger BMI and be an elite Olympic athlete rather. I would have to say though that when it comes to BMI and particularly body mass index for children, um, they have got a um, national chart and they use the gender of the child, they use the age of the child and they put it on a percentile chart so that we can actually have an indication of the general population and that is accurate. That is uh, for a general population unless there's some bizarre reason like you know the child might be an elite athlete or something like that and we do know that, that obesity related illnesses are rife in this country. We do know that being overweight, although, yes, you can be overweight and healthy, mm. um, and there are cases mm. when, where that's so... And underweight and very unhealthy. Abso absolutely. Mm. But we do know that, generally speaking, being overweight does lead to um, health implications such as heart disease, cancer, and we know that 80% of overweight children become overweight adults. So I think it is really important that we can understand where our children are at on a national level so that we can implement some initiatives to help. If we get help. the information back, though, because you're kind of saying, that they're going to do it and they exactly. keep it secret. We well, need to know. Yeah, they, they haven't decided the yet. Results. They mm. haven't decided yet whether it's something that the parents um, will get or whether it's something that's just done on a national level. But it starts at home, so the parents have Absolutely. to be told. Absolutely, and what, and what sort of mixed message is this? Mm. In schools, children are told that they can't run with balls anymore. They can't <laughs> oh jump on God. playground equipment. It's all mm. too dangerous. They need to sit passively. Mm. Yet we're going to judge you if you don't fit into an ideal box. Yeah. Mm. We need to gathering, bring back more sport We do, school. and gathering information like this doesn't tell you anything about about the overall health of the child or the child's happiness or value. It's a really mixed up priority system. Yeah. It's tough to think that this is all landing on the schools as well, that the schools mm. have a responsibility for this. I mean, and why, we know that bullying the is a huge issue in schools and of mm. course this sort of culture just encourages children mm. to weigh each other up, mm. to mm. judge each other and that's mm. a big concern. We already are so alarmed by depression rates in young people, yeah. eating disorder rates. Mm. This is a step in the wrong direction. Gathering information is one thing but let's not use our children 
children as the guinea pigs uh, for that. And the kids still have, as, as much as it's quiet and it's not done in front of other children, mm -hmm. the children themselves still have to get of on course, the scales. And of yeah. course they talk about it in of the playground, they do. don't they? Who's going to be in, who's going to be out, this mm -hmm. compare and despair game. I do think though that it is important that we do, on a national level, understand where we're, where we're at as a nation. Certainly mm -hmm. they've been doing this in Britain for a while. In uh, Kansas, in the USA, they've been doing it for over three years and they've had no significant increase in um, teasing, in body image issues or anything like that. They're doing it in South Australia at the moment. I think that Danielle's absolutely right that it needs to be if it needs to be implemented in a way that is um, that is not going to impact on the children. Yeah, on the children and their body image. And also that it promotes healthiness. So it's not about, you know, your weight or your body shape. But, but it's, it's about exactly what it's about, a number on a scale. But unfortunately, how else are we going to measure on a national level our child's health without in being invasive, taking, you know, blood. It's a big debate. Like it's a big mm. debate. It's open for yeah. argument. We could go on all day. <laughs> we we could. Oh, I bet you're too good as well. Thanks, ladies. Thank